It's 2013, and we're continuing with the BioS3 training exposure of some of these training myths and dieting myths, and exposing some of these trainers and dietitians for what they really are. And uh, today we're going to talk about um, certifications, which are you know the qualification certificates that some of these trainers can get, and diuretic foods. So let's start with the diet. Well, they kind of go hand in hand. So <laughs> let's start with the um, the certifications now. Nowadays, you can go online, and anybody can pretty much become a person, a personal trainer, or uh, a dietitian, or not a registered dietitian, but a sports nutritionist, or um, there's several different titles you can get from a certification that takes you 15 minutes to fill out a questionnaire, and next thing you know, you print it out off the printer, and you now have a certification. Now, some of these things are not accredited. It's just like a college or a school. Some of them, you know, have credibility behind them, like the ISSA and NASM stuff like that, and there's other ones that you've never even heard of that's like, you know, Jimmy Schmeck, uh, you know, World of Training or something like that, you pay $15, you take a test of like five questions, one of the questions is like, do you like working out with weights, do you think it's important to work out with weights, yes, yes, okay, you're certified, so be careful with uh, certifications, and you know, just because someone has one doesn't mean they really know what they're doing, so when you talk to a trainer, you're interviewing a trainer, Go ahead and actually listen to what they have to say and ask questions and dig a little bit to make sure that they didn't get one of these these, these certificates that don't cost you know hardly anything and they're not hard to get. So um, that being said, I have a, uh, a girl that came to me and she said her trainer had given her too many diuretic foods to get ready for a competition. Now. Uh, in 20 years, I hadn't heard the effects of these diuretic foods, so of course I was interested to know what makes them so diuretic. So I started looking up some stuff on them and found that the amount of asparagus you would have to take in to be diuretic, to get the actual nutrient to be diuretic, is insane. And this girl was having her eat like five little stalks of Asparagus, not enough to be considered diuretic by any means. I mean, five little stalks, it's, it's a half an ounce of asparagus. All of a sudden, now you're going to have to go to the bathroom and have this big diuretic effect? No. But technically, they're considered diuretic foods, which, okay, whatever. So she eats these diuretic foods and comes to, to find out, also took a diuretic for the competition. Now, this is a bikini competitor. So if you're not in shape as a bodybuilder or a bikini competitor a few weeks out, Taking a diuretic, an herbal diuretic, a prescription diuretic, anything like that is just going to make you look worse if you're not in shape. Or even if you're in shape, taking it could actually ruin your condition. So what happened was these diuretic foods were taken. The asparagus was eaten instead of complex carbohydrates. And as we all know, complex carbohydrates have to be stored in the muscle and in the liver with water. So now if you stop eating carbs, those carbohydrates go away. One gram of carb roughly four grams of water to store the carb, you lose excess water. So is it a diuretic from the asparagus? No, you stopped eating carbohydrates. You stopped eating complex carbs, you stopped eating fructose, and you started eating these fiber carbs that don't require any water to store. So yes, you lose weight and you lose water. It's not a diuretic food, it's not magic, it's your body flushing itself out, okay? Now, after that happens, if you don't have the carbohydrates in the, the muscle holding the water, you take a diuretic, whether it be herbal or prescription or whatever, on top of it, you're dehydrating yourself to the point where you've, you've gone past just losing a little water. You're dehydrated. And there's no reason for you to be on stage in a state that you're ready to pass out or you feel so awful. I mean, especially in the bikini competitor realm, I mean, you're not looking to get shredded. You're not looking to be depleted. There's no reason to be taking these diuretics whatsoever. And... If there's someone directing you to take these in a roundabout way, stop and think about it. Really stop and think about it. So that's my rant today on the diuretic foods, the trainer certifications that you can get without even really trying, without even really knowing anything. And always ask your trainers, ask questions, pry, try to get as much information as you can out of them. Just because someone's handing you a piece of paper or telling you to take a pill doesn't mean that person really knows what they're doing or they know what's going to happen to you or what to do when something happens to you. So just be careful and protect yourself at all times.